There are a couple reasons why military kids may struggle or have some difficulties, and that's because sometimes parents who are deployed are exposed to significant stress and trauma. And in addition, their other parent, if they have another parent at home with them, um, is feeling more isolated and having less support at home. And then in addition to uh, difficulties that parents might be having, the kids themselves may have to cope with things like moving to a new school or worrying about the welfare of their parent who's deployed. So for these two reasons, we want to make sure that we can help kids and give them as much support as they need. Um, one thing we know about parenting is that when a parent is deployed and they return back from Iraq or Afghanistan, there's a little bit of a readjustment period. It's normal. It's completely typical to expect some time for the natural recovery process to unfold where parents have some difficulty reconnecting with their kids maybe at first. Not all, but some. So for example, if you're exposed to a lot of stress or trauma when you're in Iraq or Afghanistan, that becomes your perception of what's considered really stressful, whereas your child might find it really stressful that he or she has to go to bed at a certain time. And so that might be hard to relate to that kind of a temper tantrum. When you have been deployed, think of life or death as more your idea of what would warrant a temper tantrum. And that disconnect can take a little time to, to sort of uh, smooth out and to recalibrate. A lot of times military members told me that when they come back, they, they have a hard time relating to the emotions of other people. So other people might get upset, like spouses or their kids, about little things, and it takes much more to get a military member upset just because of what they're accustomed to experiencing over the past deployment.